Hello and welcome to RF Pro 5 minutes tutorial. In this tutorial, we will look at three techniques of using solder balls in RF Pro for more accurate simulation on high frequencies. I would recommend you to use ADS 2022 update 2 or later release for these kind of application. Before we begin, remember one, two, three, subscribe to the channel, enable notifications, like and share the video with your friends and colleagues. All right, let's spend next few minutes in going through this interesting topic. Now, before we begin, you must be wondering why we are talking about this, you know, solar ball and how important it is for your kind of structure. Well, to illustrate that, let me first take you uh, to a typical multi-technology assembly. And here you can see a multi-layer PCB on top of which we have a package. And then they are assembled via solder ball on PCB as a regular uh, you know, technology which is used to assemble uh, these kind of packages. Now, when you are analyzing this kind of structure and you would like a high frequency performance to be as accurate as possible, there are two approaches to model the solder ball interconnect. One approach relies on using a cylindrical kind of via uh, modeling uh, as a replacement for these kind of 3D uh, solder balls and another technique relies on modeling solder ball as closely as possible to a real package. So here I have performed two simulation, one with a cylinder solder ball, another with a full 3D solder ball. If you compare the results, here you can see the cylindrical solder ball is the red trace which offers lesser insertion loss and sometime you might uh, be optimistic on your um, you know, structure performance. Whereas if you model a real 3D solar ball, you can see the blue curve, which offers more insertion loss. And this could be the difference between pass and fail of your specification. Same way, if you observe the return loss, you can uh, notice that the red trace is offering better return loss. And that is due to the solar ball being modeled as a normal cylinder. Whereas the full 3D artifact solder ball produces a return loss, which is worse than uh, what is anticipated uh, from a cylinder solder ball. So again, these two things can make or break your high frequency circuits. And as you can also see in the insertion loss profile, higher the frequency, more is the discrepancy between these two simulation. So as long as you have the opportunity to model a full 3D uh, solder ball, you should always prefer to do so. Now, once we know why it is important, let's go back to ADS and see how difficult or how easy it is to model some of these uh, structures. So in ADS, to illustrate this concept, I have three designs um, using which I will explain three techniques here. Now, technique number one, relies on modeling the 3D solder ball using EM Pro as we have already done in last few videos. Here you can see a EM Pro component, which is four by four solder ball array. And that has been added as a library in ADS. You can refer to my previous videos in this playlist if you're not sure how to add EM Pro components in ADS. Now, once we have the component, we can open up our PCB design and here in PCB, if you look at the stack up, it's a four layer PCB stack up. And I would like to put the solder bar on top of con layer. So once we have our PCB design, I can simply drag and drop the layout, define the layer on which I want to place this 3D component, which in this case is con. Click OK, and simply place it on PCB. Now, if you look at my navigator, you can see a solder ball array 3D component being placed. Now on top of this, I will have a package design. Now for this package, it's a two layer simple package just for demonstration purpose. And below the bottom layer, we have a package bump via model, which is height of 0.3 millimeter, which I just picked up at random. You can define it as per your need. Now the solar, three, solar ball 3D component, which I added is also 0.3 millimeter. And that's the area where it will uh, be modeled here. Now, once I have the package, I have defined it as a smart mount and defined it as a bottom mount component. So which you can see by going to nested technology. So the bottom mount package can be simply dragged and dropped over to this PCB design. And now we have everything lined up pretty nicely. And let's open RF Pro interface and observe this assembly design. 
which you can see will work out of the box. So here you can notice PCB, the solder balls, and currently the package is defined as a schematic role or circuit role, which we can always switch to either layout or sub design to be included in EM simulation. And now with no uh, major effort, we have the full integrated 3D geometry ready for running an FEM simulation inside RF Pro. So this is technique number one. The advantage of this technique is everything can be nicely and easily assembled in layout, and then you can proceed for simulation. The downside of this technique is it might give you LVS complication because your schematic may not have anything related to solder ball. So in technique number two, we would like to avoid any LVS issue. And here, I have a similar design with PCB and package, but I have not placed any solder ball as you can see in my navigator. So going to RF Pro, as we talked about in the last couple of videos, we can place the 3D component directly onto the layout without involving the ADS layout. We can directly place it in RF Pro interface by going to insert EM Pro 3D component, select the 3D component and insert. And when you do that, the component arrives at its origin location, which is 000. And in order to align it properly, we can go right click, go to specify orientation, click on move. And now I can zoom in and select the center point at the bottom surface of the solder ball, and then select the top of this conductor. And that's it. With One simple click, you have lined them properly. And now package can be simply change the role to layout, and you are ready for simulation of your structure with 3D FEM inside RF Pro. So this is how simple it is to use the second technique of uh, modeling the solar ball. Now, advantage of placing this component um, in RF Pro directly, obviously, is you get access to these design parameter, which you can modify right here in RF Pro environment. No need to go back to layout and relaunch RF Pro, as well as you can run a parametric EM simulation by changing uh, sweeps or running sweeps on any of those solar ball uh, parameters. Right? So this is technique number two. In the third technique, um, you know, assuming I don't have access to EM Pro, because in first two techniques I have relied on using EM Pro 3D component. But what if I don't have EM Pro license or I don't want to work in EM Pro? So how this package PCB and rest of the stuff can be uh, integrated with each other. So here is the answer. So here I have a layout with package and PCB. Now, once we open RF Pro, and assuming we don't have EM Pro and I cannot model any 3D geometry in EM Pro, then how can we make this assembly? In that case, you can directly use this 3D primitives offered by RF Pro directly. You have bond wire as well as solder ball. Click on solder ball. You can define the solder ball parameters. You can define how many divisions you need uh, in the solder ball. For example, I will define it three and I will keep this resolution to something like 45 degrees. And once you're done, click done. And now you have a solder ball in RF Pro, right? So once we have a solder ball, again, to align it properly, click on specify orientation, click on move, zoom in and select the center of the bottom of solder ball. And then you can place it um, aligned to any particular location in your design. Click done. And now you have one solder ball. And how do we go about creating four by four array? It's pretty simple. Right click, create pattern, and create a linear or a circular pattern. A specify distance in X, distance in Y, number of in instances in X and Y. And once you are done, bingo. So now you have four by four uh, you know, solar ball array with minimum of fuss. Now the only thing remaining is to assign the material. You can expand the material, look at everything which is available as per your stack up definition. And anything which you want to pick, let's say copper, I can drag and drop it over to solar ball. You can see the color change. And also if you expand, you have the material there. And right now the only thing remaining is to turn this package design into layout or sub design, and your assembly is again ready for EM analysis using 3D FEM simulator in RF Pro. So this is how simple it is to model 
uh, something complicated, a solder ball with great ease and minimum amount of fuss. So with this, no designer should have an excuse of not simulating their structure with as realistic 3D model as possible. So hope this video was of some help to you. Wish you all the best in your design work. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more upcoming videos on RF Pro.